This latest effort by Paul Allen for a new trial began in 2016. Recently, a judge had an opportunity to dismiss the case, but surprisingly, he wants to hear the so-called new evidence. In 1996, Jill Allen was found dead in their Woods Cross apartment. Someone had beaten her to death with a baseball bat. Her husband, Paul Allen, was questioned and considered a suspect from the beginning, but there wasn't enough evidence to bring charges. A year later, two men, Joey Wright and George Taylor, confessed. They took a plea bargain in exchange for their testimony that Allen hired them to murder his wife. In 2018, Allen spoke with ABC4 about the trial. I was sick of it. I, it, it, it's, I, I didn't even know how to, how to take it. It was the hardest thing to be, you know. Uh, I had confidence in the system, and, and my attorney kept giving me all the confidence in the world that everything was going great. But that confidence was shattered when a Davis County jury convicted him of aggravated murder and sentenced him to life in prison. Since his conviction, Allen has appealed several times, but each time they've been rejected, including one that reached the Utah Supreme Court. But Allen's attorneys have since learned that Taylor has been telling others in prison that it was a botched robbery and Paul Allen didn't hire him at all. In a recent hearing aimed at dismissing the case, the Attorney General's office called it hearsay and it shouldn't be allowed. Numerous people testified at trial that they heard Mr. Allen request the death of his wife. That would have to be weighed and balanced with the hearsay, hearsay statement from other prison inmates the state claimed all that was available during the trial, and they should have presented it then. But Allen's attorney says this information is different because it came to light while both Taylor and Allen were in prison. There are six persons who say that Taylor told uh, them that Paul had nothing to do with the murder. And Taylor's the one that was convicted of doing the murder. The judge ruled that those statements by George Taylor are newly discovered and ruled that the case will move forward. But he also made it clear he's not saying those statements are true and it will be argued at a future hearing. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News. Thank you, Marcus.